this is what the eggplants look like. I just took them out of the pot and then I put them into a strainer or colander and they look like this. I didn't, you don't, there's no specific time limit for how long you're going to put the eggplant to it. It's just, you see, it's already soft. As long as it's starting to cook, then you know you're fine. Eggplants cook very, very fast especially when you're steaming it. The skin. I want to let it cool down for a while. Sometimes you could put cold water on it and you know start but I'm going to try to do a little bit of cold water and give it a little bit more time while I start with the vegetables. I didn't cut the tomato yet because I have no space on my board and also because it helps me remember that to give it time not just put all the vegetables at once because not all the vegetables work at the same limit but yeah I'll also be incorporating some carrots I think I'm gonna cut the carrots now but before I forget so yeah what I did is I went to the store and I got a bag of Already clean organic mini peeled carrots from Earthbound Farm. You get it from any brand. I sometimes I'm in a love hate relationship with carrots. Sometimes I like them a lot, sometimes I just don't want to eat it at all. So do it like this. Oh, you can cut it. Like, you know, baby ones that look like little fingers. You want to cut it so that it fits easily inside the egg roll. You don't want to. The problem with cutting these carrots is that they always roll all over the place. So, if you can find a way to stop them from rolling, that'll be very beneficial to you. And I'll be right back. I'm going to finish cutting these carrots. And I'm going to start cooking the onions and the carrots and then check on the eggplant. Before I forget to tell you guys, then afterwards, there's another ingredient I forgot to tell you guys. It's this, you could get, these are bouillon cubes. This one is shrimp flavor, called Maji, Maji Kovet. And it's very famous in Africa. I know Chinese people use this. I don't think it's the same one, but I know Asian people use these things, these bouillon cubes. I love to cook with it. It brings out an added flavor and it has some salt in it. So when you do put it, you have to monitor and always be, you always have to taste your food to make sure that you don't make it too salty and that you keep it in the way that you want it. Don't just cook blindly and accept, expect things to work. So, this, you can get it at African supermarkets. If you can't, you can get this Herbox chicken, bouillon cubes, no MSG, gluten free. Everybody's happy, right? You get it, my mom got this at Costco a long time ago, but it's finished, so we just filled it in with this one. Because we needed a box. So, I'm gonna do that and I'll get back to you. I'm gonna go get started on the vegetables. You can say that I added um, a tablespoon of oil. Yeah, I didn't add that much. You just turn it around. And um, now I'm going to add the mix that I will show you how to do definitely because I'm running out. So this is my mom's. You just go like this and then it should come out. I like to put this, um, this is not, this mixture is not, you know, I didn't buy this. What I did is, I, I will show you the recipe for this. I call this the homemade pesto sauce, it's not like pesto sauce. It's more like, you take parsley, onion, or whatever you want, garlic, you could bury celery, vegetables that you know you like to cook with, and then you just shred them to keep them lasting longer. And then whenever you want to use it, you just either let it thaw, you put it in the freezer, so either you let it thaw, and then you just go like that, 
Or you could put these into ice cube trays and then do that. What this one is, is garlic, parsley, and onion. And I will put a recipe, I'll post a recipe on how to do this because when you, you it, it's easier, you don't have to cut so many onions and everything, everything's just in there. But I like to put onions and this for extra flavor. And this is kind of that, that hidden je ne sais quoi, you know? It's like, what's that? You know, it brings out nice colors, nice and green. So, notice that I didn't add garlic because garlic was already into the mixture. If you don't want it to splash too much on you, you can lower the fire, put it on low. But, I don't have that much time, so. I'm just going to, you just put it in and forget about it. You don't want it to burn, so. We're going to start adding the carrots because I feel like carrots take longer to cook. So, okay. Because I only have two hands and I have to hold the camera, I can't do this as efficiently because my cameraman is off today. He did not want to work and I couldn't pressure him to. He said he would quit. So yeah, I'm going to do that and then I'll get back to you. This is what it looks like after I've added. I know a little bit, a few pieces of carrots came into this because I was not smart enough to separate everything because I wanted to keep myself from washing too many dishes. So. This is what it looks like. You want to stir and make sure it doesn't burn. Carrots cook longer than all the other vegetables I have here. Next I'm going to add the zucchini and then follow up with the cabbage. And I'm going to rinse again just to be sure. No, I think I'm going to put egg sauce first, I'm sorry. I'm going to put zucchini, the eggplants, because I want them to kind of have that, get rid of their water before the cabbage gets involved in the flavor. And, yeah. So while this is drying up, stop saying, see how it looks so pretty and healthy? Yeah, you're going to be able to eat that. Good flavor. Okay, I'll be back. I've covered the vegetables after adding the zucchini and I put the fire on low to help cook and also because I need time to do this. Now, this is how you do the egg crust. The skin should easily come off. I know sometimes it can still be hot. And then you just peel it. So then this one's not good one. Reboil it, re-steam it, or anything. 